Hello everyone and welcome to another random bits and pieces segment from my brain. And today, sit a while, for we are playing some more Franchise Key Manager 6 as part of the Ottawa Senators. Three time Stanley Cup champions, I should probably say. Ottawa Senators. So we went undefeated in the preseason, of course, you know, by now I don't really put a lot of stock into that, it doesn't mean much of anything, uh, but still it's pretty good to see that we can still win some hockey games. Uh, before we get started, I do want to say um, I just had dinner and, uh, you know, when you chew and uh, somehow you chew the inside of your mouth and that it really hurts and everything uh, i got myself pretty good uh, i hope it's not going to uh, mess with my enunciation too much uh, so if i start to sound weird that would be why there's very few things in life that are more uh insulting to yourself than to chew the inside of your mouth choking on your own saliva comes to mind it's like oh my god i cannot even swallow properly how inept am i uh, but yeah so that happened and it it's kind of in the way i guess because it got swollen a little anyway enough of that so uh precision is done so i've decided on who's going to make the team. Uh, I have a few pretty decent players that are going to be waiting in the minors, so if I have injuries or something, I have a few decent options to call up. Uh, may there's maybe one surprise, and uh, I just realized that I'm a little weaker than I used to be on D, so I don't know if it's going to affect us, but this is who I am going with to start the season. So we're going to go with Ryan Matter and Sam Thomas in it. I think that has proven to be a pretty good uh, duo. And then we have Sharon McKay, Volchenkov, Phillips, Surrey, Rakunik, and Sim Gleason on D. So not as strong as it used to be, especially since Phillips never really quite developed in the... Uh, in this sim, uh, he's still only a one-star defenseman, so we'll see what happens. Uh, I do have a few guys that can move the puck, and of course every year Sorry and Shara are pretty good, so uh, we'll see what happens with that. And then I have Elias, Datsyuk, Chris Kelly, Adam Denmarsh, Matt Cullen, Joe Thornton, Jason Spezza, Alexi Yashin. Daniel Alfredson, Martin Avlat, Mike Fisher, Mariano Rosso, and maybe the surprise here is Ladislav Nagy made the team, and Michael Ryder. So, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, as usual, I'm not necessarily tied to any of that. Uh, I do like that a lot of my team is kind of young. Uh, I have, what, three guys, I think, that are like 30, so I have Tim Thomas, he's 30, I have Yashin, he's 30, and I have Den Marsh, he's 31. Everybody else is under 30, so we're still pretty young, especially for that era of the, of the NHL back in 2004, you know, players were still playing until their late 30s and everything, and uh, teams were turning to veterans a lot more than nowadays, so... Not that they don't today, but the game is getting younger and younger, so... Alright, so we are going to be simming to the start of the season. I am uh, telling you right now, uh, there's probably going to be some kind of a pause or something. I am going to be looking through waivers. I would like to pick up a couple defensemen, not necessarily uh, for defensemen that are going to be able to play on the team, uh, but I am really, really thin on uh, D in case I'm starting to have injuries or something. I'm going to be uh, in trouble. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up probably a couple D and maybe a forward. Uh, through waivers, we'll see what uh, we'll see what shows up. So again, I'm not looking for a star player or anything like that, but any anybody that's like a one star player, I might take just to have somebody that can play in the NHL in case I have injuries. And Joe Thornton is back from his injury, so that's definitely good. All right, and those players need to clear waivers. Yeah, I sent Derek Morris uh, and his unfit ass into uh, the minors. There you go. <clears throat> That'll teach you to show up to my training camp not in, not in shape. 
All right, so let's take a look here. So I am going to filter. We're gonna start with just the D and see what's uh, see what's there. All right, so of course Derek Morris is mine, so I'm not going to try to get him. <laughs> uh, maybe J. McKee, Dimitri Kalinin, maybe. Uh, Mark Strait. Uh, I like Kalinan. He's, he's younger. He's not really a. He's more of a defensive type of defenseman. I'm gonna claim him, or at, at least I'm attempting to claim him. And why not? I'm gonna try and claim Mark Strait as well. Now let's look at forwards. Uh, Josef Vezicek, maybe. Uh. I think I'm gonna tr go with Denis Arkipov. Let's bring a Russian in. To speak Russian with uh, Alexey Yashin and Anton Volchenkov. Right, those are the claims I'm going to try and make. Hopefully they go through. I, I do need a little bit more death. Straight comes with us. That's good. Dimitri Kalinin comes with us. That good. That's good. And Denis Arkipov comes with us. And that's good as well. Perfect. All right. So we got some depth off of waivers. I know it's not the most elegant way to get players. It's always cooler when you get them in a mega trade or something. But I just needed some death. So, all right. The NHL season preview is underway. Uh, <coughs> early Stanley Cup favorites appear to be Ottawa, led by Pavel Datsyuk. General Manager Jesse Bannum has built a squad that will be the team to beat this year, but he can expect challenges from Lula Moriello's New Jersey uh, Devils and Detroit featuring defenseman Nicholas Lidstrom. Among the Dark Horses, Colorado stands out as a possible challenger with a big season by Joe Sakic, capable of pushing them into contender status. Scoring race will likely see Pittsburgh's Yarmir Jagger challenged by Pavel Datsuk of Ottawa and New Jersey's John Madden. Wow, they expect John Madden to be going for... That would be a big leap. I know that John Madden is a four-star player, but... I mean, he had 44 points last year. I guess we'll see. <clears throat> Top defensemen should be between Chris Chelios, Nick Lidstrom, and Jay Boomister. And finally, for the goaltenders, it should be between Martin Brother, Roberto Luongo, and Chris Osgood. Patrick Roy's name is not there for the first time in a very long time. All right, I need to give those guys num numbers. Uh, Alright, now I'm sending those guys down. So Kellinen is going down. Mark Streit is going down. And Denis Arkipov is going down. And right, now I have a little bit more depth in case... Because injuries happen. And I have to say that so far we've been doing alright as far as injuries go. I mean, yes, we've had injuries and everything, but we haven't... I think there's one season where it was pretty bad, but other than that, we've been doing pretty good. And my trainer retired. I don't remember if I mentioned it in my last video or not. I had to hire a new trainer. So hopefully this guy can help prevent injuries as well. <clears throat> oh, there's already been a trade. 
So there's been a trade between the Coyotes and the Wild. Oh, Jason Smith is... Uh, Jason Smith is going to Phoenix, and Derek Walser is going to Minnesota. Interesting. Jason Smith uh, played with uh, the Sens very briefly in real life. <clears throat> Alright, so... The season is starting. And we are starting the season on the road in Montreal. Now, keep in mind that season never happened in real life. That's when there was the lockout. Apparently, the Sens were going to play at home a lot. <laughs> There's a long home stretch right there. Uh, but, of course, that season never happened. So, that didn't talk her. But, uh, yeah. All right. So, Let's get going. So we are playing in Montreal, first game of the season. Let's take a look at their lineup. So they have Patrick Wynn, Dwayne Rolasson in net. Uh, Roy is a three star and a half player. He's 39 now. And then they have Beauchemin, Markov, Schneider, Desjardins, Ron Ince, uh, Ed Jovanovski, Nicholas Avlid, who used to play for us. And Brian Allen on D. That's a pretty good D. Then the Peter Leclerc, Sean Avery, that they paid very, a uh, pretty big price for. Stephen Weiss, Sergey Britton, Thomas Placanet, uh, Pascal Riom, Todd White, Mackenzie Ribeiro, Koivu, Scott Thornton, and Sergey Zoltak. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Their team is not too terrible, but it's not great either. I'm not sure they're gonna make the playoffs. They might. They have the they have good D and decent goaltending. So they might make the playoffs out of that. Alright, so we are going to Ryan Matter for the first game of the season and Montreal sending Dwayne Rolasson. So it looks like they might be benching Patrick Roy this year. And we won the first game of the season, six to two. All right. Oh, we outshot Montreal 68 to 28. Joe Thornton was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Marian Osa was the second star with a goal, and Pavel Datsuk was the third star with an assist. So the first goal of the season was scored by Anton Volchenkov, assisted by Joe Thornton and Pavel Datsuk, and then Montreal tied the game at one, and then it was tied at one after one. Then in the second period, Joe Thornton scored from Brian McCabe and Sidney Gleason. Then Michael Ryder from Sheldon Surrey and Matt Cullen. It was 3-1 Sens. Then Stephen Weiss scored from Montreal made it 3-2. So Montreal was still within striking distance after two. They were only down one, but we scored three goals in the third period. Marian Osa from Zdeno Shar and Joe Thornton. Then Jason Spezza from Patrick Eliash and Daniel Alfredson. And finally, Zdeno Shara scored on the power play from Jason Spezza and Patrick Eliash. 6-2 was the final score. <clears throat> and we had six different goal scorers in that game. So, varied offense. Not all coming from the same guy. There was no stopping Zygmunt Palfi. He had a hat-trick, three goals against Buffalo. Pretty good. Three star player, Zygmunt Palfi, 32 years old. In that same game, Pierre Turgeon had a goal and four assists. That's pretty good. 35 years old, two stars. So he's slowing down, but still putting up points. Daniel Sedin extends his goal streak to five games. He had a goal and an assist against Calgary. Alright, so Colin White is on waivers. Now, Colin White, the defenseman from the 2000s, not Colin White from uh, <clears throat> the Sens uh, current, current day. Chris Giles is injured. He is day to day. Alright, so he got hurt. Set of five star player of 42 years old. And there was no t uh, stopping Timu Selane, who had a hat trick three goals against the Rangers. 
All right, so 34 years old, Timu Sedani is still a four-star player. All right, and we are about to play against the Bruins. So let's take a look at the Bruins. So Boston has not played a game. It's going to be their first game of the season, and we're playing them in Boston while they have a lot of injuries. So first off, Patrice Bergeron is not going to play that game. He's on injured reserve. Sandy Sazalinch may or may not play. Craig Rive may or may not play. Mike Ritchie is not playing. He's hurt. Uh, on paper, they have a decent team, I think. Not extraordinary, but okay. Uh, Nabokov and Vokun in net. John Michael Lyles. Ozalinch, Mark Stewart, Don Sweeney. Uh, Jonathan Girard, Craig Givet, Mike Van Ryn, Petrasek, Tanabe, Stumpel, Lapointe, Modine, Primo, Olden, Richie and the Ilbert, Oli Jokinen, Mario Strakowski, Glenn Murray, David Viborny, and Maxim Sushinsky. We should be able to beat them, especially with all those injuries. Alright, Ryan Matter in net for us, and they're gonna go to Thomas Vokun. It's a tie, 3-3. Three, three. So we were not able to beat the Bruins. Oh dear God. We outshot Boston 75 to 24. Am I gonna get to a hundred shots on goal eventually? More maybe. Alright, so and it's a 3-3 three, three tie. And their goaltender is not the first star. Wow, okay. So Josef Stumpel was the first star of the game, he had two assists. Anton Volchenkov was the second star with an assist, and Mike Van Ryn for Boston was the third star with two assists. So Boston scored first in the first period, then Martin Avlat tied the game from Alexey Yashin and Chris Kelly. It was tied at one after one. Then in the second, we had Jason Spezza scored on a power play from Marianosa and Zdeno Oshara. It was 2-1 to one cents after two. Then in the third, uh, Boston actually took a 3-2 lead, and it looked like they were going to win, but with 16 seconds to go in the third period, Adam Denmarsh scored from Anton Volchenkov and Matt Cunnan, tied the game at 3, and nobody scored in overtime, obviously, so 3-3 was the final score. Daniel Sedin extends his goal streak to six games. He had a goal and two assists against Dallas. Now, don't forget, Dallas made that trade to get Danny Eadley. <clears throat> Alright, so we are going to be playing in two days, and it's going to be our home opener against Florida. Strong game for Luke Rubita, you had four assists against Anaheim. <coughs> Luke Rubita is now 38 years old and he's a star and a half player, still able to pass the puck apparently. And Brad Tapper is available on waivers, but I am not picking, uh, picking him up. Now, Peter Schaefer had a strong game. He had five goals. Wow, Peter Schaefer had a five-goal game against Buffalo, playing for San Jose. One star and a half player. Might uh, play himself into an, a big contract if he keeps it up. Well, nobody can keep a five-goal game pace, but uh, yeah. All right, so we are about to play against the Florida Panthers. The poor Panthers are 0-3 to start the season. So let's see what their lineup looks like. No injuries, so what we see here is pretty much... Oh, dear God, that team is terrible. All right, so John Graham and... Is it Travis or Tanner Scott? Travis Scott. <coughs> Then 
Jay Boomy, Sir Tomas Malik, Denny Goatee, Drew Bannister, Carl Dykaus, Kenny Yuston, Darius Kasparaitis, Marcus Nelson, Nathan Orton, Tuoko, Samsonov, Campbell, Kessler, Green Connolly, Shubarov, Serge Payet, Denis Schwidke, Millen, Mike Johnson, and Christian Eusilius. Wow, that team is struggling. I mean, they are 0 and 3, and oh god, did that does it say win now? Oh boy. Okay. All right, so they're sending John Graham in net. We are going with Ryan Matter. Why not? We are undefeated with him in net, and we won for nothing. So shout out for Ryan Matter. We outshot the Panthers 46 to 11. Jason Spezza was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Michael Ryder was the second star with an assist, and Anton Volchenkov was the third star with a goal. Wow, the A train with two goals to start the season here. <clears throat> So despite winning the Stanley Cup for three years in a row, the Sens couldn't do better than to draw 13,620 people in attendance. Those losses in 1992 sure, sure marked uh, the fans for life. So Anton Volchenkov scored the first goal of the game from Joe Thornton and Pavel Datsyuk, and then Sheldon Surrey from Matt Cullen and Adam Denmarsh. It was 2-0 Sens after one. Then Jason Spezza scored in the second period from Tim Gleason and Michael Ryder, and then Patrick Elyash on the power play from Alex Yashin and Jason Spezza. 4 nothing Sands after 2, and that score would stand, and that was a 4 nothing win. Jerry Cheever's out as Florida coach, so that that loss was it. It was no, you are not the coach anymore. We give you a crappy team, and you cannot win. You're out. And Gerard Gallant is the new Panthers coach. That's kind of interesting for the reasons that we know. All right. <clears throat> Brent Gretzky is on waivers, so is Chris Terrian, and so is Sean Pronger. So it looks like the Kings are trying to clean up the house a little. Matthias Olund is suspended in Vancouver. He's going to miss three games. A strong night for Daniel Sedin. He had three goals and an assist against Colorado. So that was seven games in a row for him with a goal. Right, and we are about to play the New York Rangers at home. Most of the games this month are at home. So, <clears throat> Rangers are 0-2 to start this season. So, struggling a little bit in the Big Apple. Let's take a look at their lineup. No injuries there. Right, so Henrik Lundqvist and Mike Richter in net. That's pretty solid. Uh, Brian Leach, Fedor Tutin, Yuri Fisher, Robin Regeer, Martin Skula, and Didel Moore, Steve Steyos, and Sergei Zubov on D. That D is pretty good. Kavashev, Trip Ulmer, Kudashev, Richard Park, Pierietta, Doug Waite, Mike York, Artigan, Paul Yili, Jamie Lundmark, Alexei Kavalev, and Fernando Pisani. Okay, so the the D is good, the goaltending is good, but at forward, it's ugh, it's a little barren, I would say. <clears throat> Alright, so they are sending the king in that, Henry Clunquist, and we're going with Ryan Miller. And we won 4-1, so still undefeated. We outshot the Rangers 38-22. Patrick Elias was the first star of that game. He had a goal and two assists. Jason Spezza was the second star with a goal and two assists as well. And finally, J uh, Sheldon Surrey was the third star with a goal. 15,368 people came to this game in Ottawa. And Jason Spitz opened up the scoring uh, in the first period from Patrick Elias and Brian McCabe. And then the Rangers tied the game. It was tied at one after one. 
and then we scored the remain uh, the remaining three goals that we scored in the second period. Uh, Sheldon sorry scored from Matt Cullen and Ladislav Nagy. Then Patrick Elias scored on the power play from Jason Spezza and Zdeno Oshar. And then finally Daniel Alfredson scored from Patrick Elias and Jason Spezza. 4-1 the final score. Ooh. Isn't it the second uh, bad injury that Michael Russell suffers? I think I remember him like going down in the playoffs or something. Anyway, Michael Russell of Pittsburgh just got hurt with a ruptured tricep tendon against Atlanta and he's out for six months. So he's basically going to miss the entire season or very close to it. Right, Jason Marshall is available. I'm not picking him up. Good night for Jonathan Chichu in San Jose. He had a hat trick, three goals against Florida. All right, and we are about to play the Bruins at home. Uh, we played the Bruins just a few games ago, and it was a tie, 3-3, so that's the only team we have not been able to beat so far this month. Uh, we just looked at their lineup, so I'm not going to look at it again. They probably have Petrus Berger on back uh, for this game, so... Alright, so Yevgeny Nabokov is going to be in net for the Bruins for that one, and we are going to Ryan Metter again. And this time we won, 42. All right, we outshot the Bruins 53 to 15. Brian McCabe was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. John Michael Lyles was the second star with a goal. And Patrick Elias was the third star with an assist. We had 14,657 people in attendance. So we took a 3 0 lead into the first period. So Jason Spezza scored his fifth already from Daniel Alfredson and Patrick Elias. Then Sheldon Sorry from Marian Osa and Pavel Datsyuk. Then Brian McCabe scored shorthanded from Joe Thornton and Matt Cullen, 3 0 after one. Then Boston scored twice in the second period, came to within one, gave us a little bit of a scare, but in the third period, Mike Fisher put the game away from Tim Gleason and Brian McCabe, and 4 2 was our final score. Jason Spitz extends his goal streak to five games with a goal against Boston. All right, three star and a half player, 21 years old. Already coming into his own. I like that. All right. Martin Brodeur has competed in 800 games. 32 years old. Martin Brodeur, five star goaltender, 800 games. Good job. Luke Robitai has a good game. He had a goal and four assists. Jeez. Luke Robitaille is on fire to start the season. So that was against the Islanders. Doug Waite keeps fans on their feet all night. He had a hat trick against Columbus. 33 years old, Doug Waite, three star player. Uh, suspension for Todd White in Montreal. He's going to miss seven games. Mike Modeno has tallied 1,200 points in his career. He had an assist against Montreal. And Ethan Morrow is suspended in Chicago. Is going to miss three games. All right, and we are going to be playing against the Columbus Blue Jackets. So we are hosting Columbus. Columbus is two one and one to start the season. So decent start for them. Uh, let's take a look at their lineup. Alright, so no injuries. So in net it's Manny Fernandez and Manny Legacy. So they have both Mannies in there. Brett Edekin, Matthias Nordstrom, Jason Woolley, uh, Jesse Wallen, Stefan Rabida, Lucas Krajicek, uh, Curtis Brown, Jonas Oglum, Dave Laurie. Oh, Dave Laurie is 39. 
he's still playing though. Brad Larson, Kirilenko, Bogunicki, Bill Guerin of former Ottawa Center uh, fame, Andreas Johansson, Mike Sillinger of previous Ottawa Senator fame, Wyatt Smith, Mark Savard, Sean Donovan, Rick Nash, Kyle Calder, and Chris Nielsen. Eh, there's a few holes in that lineup. There's a few interesting players as well. It's kind of an interesting uh, mishmash of players. All right, they're going to send Manny Fernandez in net for that one, and we are still going to Ryan Miller. And we won 43. Tight game, but we won. We outshot Columbus 43 to 22. Matt Cullen was a first star. He had two assists. Uh, Br Brett Hedekin was a second star with two assists as well. Jason Spezza was the third star with two goals. 13,994 people in attendance for that one. All right, so nobody scored in the first, but there were a lot of penalties for some reason. Wow, Zidane O'Shara took three penalties. Rick Nash took two. Interesting. All right, uh, and then the goals started to come in in the second period. Adam Denmarsh scored first from Tim Gleason and Matt Cullen. Then Jason Spezza scored on the power play from Marianosa and Patrick Eliash. All right, and then Columbus scored, and it was two to one cents after two. And then in the third period, Jason Spezza scored again from Joe Thornton. And then Patrick Eliash scored on the power play from Matt Cullen and Michael Ryder. Made it 4-1 to Sens. And then uh, Bill Guerin scored. And then Mark Savard made it 4-3. to But Columbus ran out of gas. And we won the game. Alright, Jason Spezza extends his goal streak to six games. It's funny, uh, Jason Spezza was always known more for his passing because he was an incredible playmaker, but he had a very underrated shot. Jason Spezza had a really good shot, and sometimes I wish he would have used it more, but I mean, it's in the past now, but he had a really, really, really good shot. All right, Darcy Tucker is suspended in Philadelphia, he's gonna miss one game. All right, uh, Brendan Morrow in Dallas is suspended. He's going to miss seven games. And we have a trade proposal from the Florida Panthers who want to send us Artem Shubarov for Ladislav Nagy, and we are going to say no to that. All right, we are about to host the... Philadelphia Flyers. Ooh, bad news for the Mighty Ducks. Paul Carrier is hurt. Severe neck laceration. He's going to miss four months against the Islanders. Wow, Paul Carrier, 30 years old, three star player, hurt for four months. See you later, Paul. Alright, we are going to be playing the Flyers. They, the Flyers are 3 and 2 this year so far, so it's an it's a okay start. They are 6th in the East. Alright, let's take a look at their lineup. Alright, so they have Tom Pricing, that's hurt, so he's not gonna play. And Darcy Tucker is gonna miss the game because he's suspended. So in that, they have Patrick Desrochers and Steve Shields. Um, Again, no superstar in net for Philadelphia. Greg DeVries, Yaroslav Modry, Willie Mitchell, Mickey Dupont, Eric Weinrich, Pavel Trenka, Skopintsev, uh, Justin Williams, Simon Gagne, Matt Cook, Martin St. Louis, Rod Brennamore, Jeff Carter, Eric Lindros, Perez Radvadit, Tommy Santella, Daniel Zubros, Valerie Bure, Mark Ricky, and Mikhail Renberg. Oh, Renberg is 32 and he's down to a one star. So they still have a pretty decent team, except in goal. In goal, it's still kind of not too great there. All right, so they're gonna send Steve Shields in net. We're still going to Ryan Meador. No rest for the wicked, as they say. And we won 42.
still undefeated. We outshot the Flyers, 46 to 19. Sheldon Sorry was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Matt Cook was the second star with a goal, and Zdeno Sharo was the third star with two assists. 15,543 people in attendance for that one. All right. So the first period, uh, Sheldon Sorry scored the first goal from Zdeno Sharo and Marianosa. Then Pavel Datsyuk scored from Shara and Sorry. It was 2 nothing after 1. Then in the third uh, sorry, in the second period, Jason Spitza scored from on the power play from Patrick Eliash and Mariano. So it was 3 nothing after 2. Then the Flyers scored twice in the third period, came to within one, and then Anton Volchenkov scored his third in an empty net from Jason Spezza. Made it 4-2 cents, and there were 8 seconds left to go in the games, so that, that two-goal lead was plenty enough. Uh, Jason Spezza extends his goal streak to 7 games, he had a goal and an assist in that game against the Flyers. And Darcy Tucker is back from suspension, he missed that game against us. Wow, Darcy Tucker and uh, Matt Cook on the same team, yikes. Uh, Brettel has achieved 750 assists, he had 2 goals and an assist against Dallas. And Brettel is now a two and a half star player. He's 40 years old and he's still producing. All right, uh, Matthias Olun is back from suspension. And so is Ethan Morrow. Yeah, we are about to host the Montreal Canadiens. So Montreal is doing all right for themselves. They are four and two this year. Uh, one of their losses happened against us on the first game of the season. Uh, Montreal is sixth in the East with their eight points. We already saw their lineup. I'm not gonna look at it. Alright, so, oh, they're sending uh, Patrick Roy in net, and we are going with Ryan Miller. Patrick Roy has two shutouts in three games. Not this time, we won. It was a tight one, but we won 6-5. to five. So we outshot Montreal 35-20. to 20. Joe Thornton was the first star of the game. He had a goal and two assists. Pascal Réaume was the second star with two assists, and then Anton Volchenkov... Had a goal and an assist while the A-Train has never scored at that pace in real life. This is crazy. So Volchenkov scored the first goal of the game from Joe Thornton and Pavel Datsyuk. And then Sergei Zoltuk uh, tied the game for Montreal. So it was tied at one. But before the end of the first period, Joe Thornton scored from Marinosa and Anton Volchenkov. It was 2-1 to one, two to one cents after one. And I forgot to say that we had 17,207 people in attendance for that game. And then in the second period, there were a lot of goals scored. So Montreal tied the game at two. And then we scored twice. Daniel Alfredson from Matt Cullen and Sheldon Sorry. Then Patrick Eliash from Sheldon Sorry and Jason Spezza. It was 4-2. Then Montreal scored, came to within one, and then Jason Spezza scored on the power play from Marinosa, made it 5-3. Then Nicholas Avlid scored against his former team, made it 5-4 Ottawa after two. And then we traded goals in the third period. Zdeno Shara from Joe Thornton and Carol Rakunik made it 6-4. Then Montreal scored, come to within one, but it was too late. Jason Spezza extends his goal streak to 8 games with a goal and an assist against Montreal. So Jason Spezza is having one heck of a start to the season. Now one name we're not seeing much is Alexi Yashin. Yeah, he has 2 points in 8 games. After getting 87 in 72 last year, what's up with that? Are we gonna need to trade you? Maybe it's a sign. I said, uh, I said uh, should I trade you and then I change screens and my next opponent is the Islanders. Maybe it's a sign. Maybe it's a sign. I saw the sign. 
All right, so memorable night for Joe Sakic, who had four assists against Vancouver. Joe Sakic is a three and a half star player at 35 years old. Mark Parrish in that same game had a strong game. He had a goal and four assists. Wow. And no one could stop Mike Knubel playing for Phoenix. He had a hat trick three goals against St. Louis. Alright, so we are about to play the Islanders in Uniondale. Uh, the Islanders are 3-3-1, three, three and one, so playing for 500, and that's good for 9th in the East. We are still undefeated. Let's take a look at their lineup. So, they have Pierre Turgeon that had a good game at the start of the, ga uh, start of the season. So, Victor Ubel is hurt, so he's not going to play. So, oh yeah, they have pretty good goaltending. Uh, Luongo and Di Pietro in net, that's, you know, they have 7 millions tied up in goaltending right there. Then Hans Janssen, Eric Brewer, Dick Tarnstrom, Brian Elmer, Stefan Quintal, Wade Redden on D. Alright. Uh, Sean Bergenheim, Todd Bertuzzi, Robert Nelson, um, Jason Blake, Vidi Peltonen. Taylor, no, that 23 years old, that's probably Tom Pyatt. No, it's Taylor Pyatt, okay. Uh, uh, Marty Murray, Pat Kavanaugh, Pierre Turgeon, Jean Pierre Dumont, Rafi Torres, Zygmunt Poffy, Stefan Vieux, and Zvishkowski. Yeah, they do have really good goaltending, so they could surprise anybody any night if their goaltender stops mini pucks. Alright, so Ryan Miller in net for the Suns, Roberto Luongo in net for the Islanders. And the Suns won on the road, 41. So we outshot the Islanders, 53-15. to Patrick Elias was the first star of that game, he had two goals uh, and no assists. Jason Spezza was the second star with two assists, and Tim Gleason was the third star with a goal, so I guess Jason Spezza's goal streak has ended. Alright, so... Uh, we open up the scoring in the first. Patrick Elias scored his fifth on the power play from Marianosa. Then Michael Ryder on the power play as well from Joe Thornton. So it was 2 0 Sands after one. Then in the second period, Tim Gleason scored from Jason Spitza. It was 3 0 after two. Then in the third period, Patrick Elias scored on the power play from Jason Spitza and Pavel Datuk. And then finally, Pat Kavanagh scored and there was no shutout for Ryan Miller because of that goal. So 4-1 to one the final score. Alright, and now we are playing a home and home against the Toronto Maple Leafs. So, uh, provincial rivals uh, Maple Leafs. So the first game is in Ottawa. So Toronto is 5-4 and four this year, so that's good for 4th in the East. Ooh, is Toronto going to make the playoffs? Right, so Martin Gelina is not going to be playing. He has a torn tie muscle and he's out for three to four months. So they have Jean-Sébastien Giguère and Ty Conklin in net. So the, the goaltending is good. That's fine. Uh, Stefan Cronwall, Richard Madvichuk, Thomas Caberly. Uh, I think it's Alan Roark. I think it's Alan Roark. Yes. Carol Pilash, Brad Lukowicz, Ian White, Christian Backman, Brad Boys, Ser uh, Sergei Varlamov, David Moss, Alex Steen, Todd Fedorak, Carol Puros, Marchant Pero, Smolinski, Moore, Ponikarovsky, Eric Cole, and Nick Antropov. So, yeah. Let's beat them. Oh, we're going to Tim Thomas for that game, and he's going to face Jean-Sébastien Giguere. And we won 5-1. to one. Doesn't matter who's in net, apparently. We outshot Toronto 45-15. to 15. Anton Volchenkov was the first star of the game. He had a goal and an assist. Adam Denmarsh was the second star with two assists. And Karel Rakunek, third star with a goal. 13,499 people in attendance for that game. 
So we took a 4-0 lead into the first period and that was pretty much the game right there. So Karel Rakunik scored first from Volchenkov and Adam Denmarsh. Then Pavel Datsuk from Sheldon Sorry and Marian Osa. Patrick Elyash scored from Alexey Yashin and Daniel Alfredson. Then Matt Cullen from Adam Denmarsh and Martin Avlat. It was 4-0 Sands after 1. That nobody scored in the second period. And in the third, Brad Boys scored for Toronto, made it 4 1. And then Anton Volchenkov scored his fifth from Jason Spezza and Chris Kelly, 5 1, the final score. So Tyler Arneson in Minnesota is suspended. He's going to miss four games. Daniel Cleary extends his goal streak to five games. Playing for Chicago, he had a goal against Nashville. All right. Zygmunt Palfi now has 900 points in the NHL. He had a goal against uh, the Washington Capitals. Right, and we are ready to play the last game of the month for the Sens. Now it's in Toronto, so it's the second of the back-to-back. -back. So let's see if we can beat them again. We're going to go back to Ryan Miller for that one. They're going to send Ty Conklin for this one. And we won 5-0, so we managed to go undefeated in October. That is awesome. So we outshot Toronto 37-18. to Patrick Elias was the first star of that game. He had a goal and three assists. Marian Osa was the second star with two goals. And Jason Spezza was the third star with two assists. So Patrick Elias opened up the scoring in the first period on the power play from Zdeno Shara and Jason Spezza. So it was 1-0 Sands after 1. And then in the second period, we have Tim Gleason from Jason Spezza and Patrick Elias. Then Sheldon Sorry is fifth from Alexey Yashin and Martin Avlat. Then Marian Osa from Karel Rakunik and Patrick Elias, 4 nothing after 2. And then in the third period, Marian Osa scored from Patrick Elias and Anton Volchenkov. 5 nothing was the final score. Pretty good game all around. I like it. Oh, look who's being put on waivers, Radic Bonk. Wow, he dropped to an alpha star already at 28 years old. That seems fast. Maybe I did the right thing by not keeping him around. All right, Patrick Marlowe keeps fans on their feet all night. He had three goals and an assist against Boston. Strong game for Brendan Morrison in that same game. He had a goal and four assists. Good night for Sergei Gonchar in Washington, who had a hat-trick three goals against Montreal. So Gonchar is 30, and he's a three-and-a-half star player. All right, and we have to make one more click to make it to November 1st. Mike Camilleri extends his goal streak to five games. He had a goal against Calgary. All right. Well, I guess... You know, we went undefeated, so I guess we get rewarded for that. Uh, the players of the month for the month of October were Jason Spitz and Ryan Miller, both playing for the Ottawa Senators. All right, so... Pretty good month, all in all. Uh, let's take a look at the standings here. So, of course, you know, we went undefeated, so we're first in the east Washington is second so I've been ragging on the Washington Capitals for so long but now that's two seasons in a row that they're putting good numbers they have 16 points that's only five be points behind us that's not terrible at all all right so let's look in the west what it looks like of course it's still early in the season but so San Jose is first in the West, Detroit, Edmonton, Phoenix, Chicago, St. Louis, Colorado, and Los Angeles.
So the worst team in the league is the Florida Panthers. And Dallas is really not good, despite making the big move to get Danny Eatley. It didn't pan out so far. Well, Eatley has 9 points in 10 games, so it's not really his fault, per se. Oh god, they have... They, their D is terrible. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, so let's take a look at our stats. We already know that Yeshin is struggling, so let's see uh, what else we're gonna see here. Alright, so Jason Spezza is having one heck of a start to the season. He has 20 points in 11 games. Eliash is 18 points in 11 games. Osa 12 in 11. Sorry 10 in 11. Thornton 10 in 11. Anton Volchenkov 9 in 10. 9 in 11 from Matt Cullen. And then it starts dwindling down, so... Alfredson is kind of struggling. Datsyuk not well, seven and eleven. It's not too bad. Yashin is really struggling. I might have to trade him. We're gonna think about it. He's my captain. I don't know if I want to. Uh, maybe. I mean, I have Spidza. I have Thornton. Yashin is almost expendable at this point. I hate to trade him because he had a really good season last year, and he looked like he was gonna tear it up for some years but he's struggling to start the season there so I don't know we'll have to figure it out all right now let's take a look at in the entire league let's see who's the best at what so Peter Schaefer of course scored five goals in one game so he's the goal scorer leader for the start of the season so far he has 10 goals and then the best uh, Passers are Brendan Morrison, Jason Spezza, and Pierre Turgeon with 11 each. Then Jason Spezza is the top scorer in the league with 20 points. That's very interesting. Alrighty, so uh, you know, as you know, that's where I usually stop so I'm gonna go ahead and call this a uh, video so as usual I want to thank you for tuning in and uh, if you've liked the video feel free to like subscribe share comment all of that good stuff and until I roll this game again I'll see you guys next time thank you